Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Crab, like I've never played a Crab before. The Crab 27SL. This one is the only one that can take jump jets and therefore we play a kind of pop-tart build today. So I really wanted to play some snub nose builds recently and I think the Crab here can reliably do it. So what do we do? First of all, two snub nose PPC, one in each arm. We have three medium lasers as our backup weapons or damage amplifiers and uh, again the two jump jets and the problem is that if you want to do that you have to take an XL engine. We take an XL engine 300 here however I think the crab is a great great carrier for it because it has a great brawling profile you can splash the damage very well and uh, on top of it we amplified our structure and our armor like crazy with that. So that's the build. You can also if you are not comfortable with the XL engine here could also drop it down to a uh, light engine 255 fish 265 fish 270 that's it but you would lose one double heat sink and i really 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 wanted that therefore we go fast we are able to reposition we just play carefully and we use our jump jets as our defensive maneuver not exposing ourselves all the time but then quickly jumping up shoot our snub nose ppcs follow up into medium lasers if we are uncontested and then reposition and uh, scroll around a lot the skill build looks like this we have invested into firepower to get the heat gen nodes because this build is hosty we have two snubs and three medium lasers all of that energy weapons so you need to make sure that you manage your heat therefore the heat gen down here the heat gen down here very important and then we had some spare points that i invested into some range and cooldown and one additional point here so this is more or less optional we have Full survivability, as I said before, we run XL, therefore maximum structure, maximum armor, as much as we can get to save that side torso. No mobility here, no jump jets, but full cool run, and I was running double artillery, double cool shot. Makes sense, right? Because we are a close range build and I wanted to have something to do when I am out of range, therefore the artillery strike and of course the double cool shot to keep the damage going. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and as always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Grim Plexus and we are playing Skirmish and we have the good spawn, I would say. So I really like the Fox 7 area. I really like setting up in Fox 7. And then pushing into Golf 7, because the enemies are coming from here, from the Hotel 4 area, and they will push all the way over to Hotel 6, into Golf 7, and to, into Golf 8. And when they arrive here, we can go over here and get into their flanks. We just need good timing. So I really hope that my teammates are playing smart, and they're following up and going to the right spot. Now, we are a close range build, and um, that means that we have to be careful, because we are running an XL engine, right? That means that I, I want to utilize my jump jets a lot, just in, popping up in... Um, with, with my jump jets and then shooting in mid-air and then falling down again. Ooh, teammates are going to go off 8 directly. I don't like to see that actually. Mm. Okay, so this is, uh, this is difficult because now the enemies will probably stop in mid-range in the Hotel 7, Hotel 6 area and it's difficult to engage them there because they have a lot of cover and we have to cross a lot of open terrain and I wanted to have it the other way around. Okay. I mean, if they see us coming. If not, then that's fine. Let's see. Highlander, ah, the champion variant. That's the Ultra 5 large pulse laser, right? I like this, actually. This is a cool build. It looks like you have uh, only a very limited amount of uh, weapons, but the firepower, the overall DPS is great on the Highlander. So, if you want to play something like that, just go ahead. Double rock, no, double AC, Ultra AC5, double Ultra AC5s and two large pulse laser. It's a great combination. Uh-huh, that's exactly what I thought it was. Also, we cannot reliably drop artillery strikes on their heads there. So, th that's another downside of their positioning right now. By the way, we gotta deal with it. Phew. Didn't deal damage there, of course, because I was out of range. We have 300 meters. About 300. The Urban Mech would have been a better target, obviously. I'm just practicing shooting right now. Okay, but there is no reason for racking up so much heat right now. Okay, so where do we go? No idea yet. We gotta got a good focus on the enemies that are super close. I'm dealing only very minimal damage to that Banshee. But still, damage is damage. Ah, stop moving! And now I am very close at the enemy. I wish I had a UAV right now. What I can do, however, something like this. Not like this. <laughs> go away, Irby. Leave me alone. I dropped the artillery on the Hotel 7 area. No, I did not because the artillery, of course, was on cooldown. 
Wish I had an angle on this guy. Couldn't. Hellspawn is very damaged already, though. So let's keep that in mind. If you see the Hellspawn, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, we need to find an angle on them. At the moment, I'm just taking snapshots. This is not good. And with the with the crab's arms, you have that kind of weapon convergence problem. If you're not not focusing your shots on the target that is steady, I like this. If they weren't invisible walls, this is what I was talking about. So steady targets, no problem. Uh, this is definitely worth a cool shot. And again, the invisible walls. My lasers did not connect. Come on. Yeah, he's just standing there. He's going for the legs, which is smart. The legs are the weak spot of the crab. It doesn't help if you're dead, though. Ooh, I was running into that. <sighs> Ouch. All right. And now we shifted completely our position. Mm. Too slow of a velocity. If I would have aimed a little bit more to the right, I potentially could have hit there. But there was also a big chance that I just hit the, the building. All righty. We are at half heat. We can help out here, definitely. There goes the side torso. Gotta be careful with my heat, though. The Piranha is a good target. Gotta hit it, though. And again, an enemy in full run is difficult with the arm weapons. Hunchback. Why not the Hunchback? Yeah, I still have both of my artillery strikes. And I'm gonna use them now. Just to push them back a bit. Just to make a statement. Let's just say, go away. AC-20 is still online. Okay, he level is critical again. So we pop the cool shot. We go for the side torso there, because that one is open already. Maybe we can actually take it down. No, not not quite, but almost. It is six and five. Very interesting game here. Very interesting dynamics. So the good thing is that we can take the time to cool off a bit. And my torso is still in a pretty good shape. Okay, that torso is not in a good shape anymore. So speaking, of course, of my XL engine that needs to be alive. Okay, let's kill him. He cannot really... Ah, oh, come on, one shot. Or, or something like this. This guy is hot. Uh, 8 and 6, though. Ooh, second artillery strike. I think it's time to drop it right now. But I want to drop it down there. Okay. I mean, the Warhammer, as I said, he's super hot right now. He cannot really fight. So let's deal with the guys. Thank you for that. Let's deal with the guys who are down and pressuring our... Our friends there. Uh, Kid Fox. Yeah, definitely Kid Fox. Easier target, squishier, easier to destroy if I hit. Okay. Mm, it's 10 and 9. I'm not feeling comfortable. Okay, Battlemaster in the back. Great opportunity here. We gotta take this. Please don't go for me. Can we stay in the back of the Battlemaster? I'm gonna tank for you guys. Yeah, that was a good hit. Going for the Kid Fox now. Just getting some pressure on this guy. Trying to go for the legs because they are open already. And you can deal with the battle master, no problem. Okay. <laughs> He's level critical. Guys, can you help me out? Battle master is still alive. That's one. Okay, we go for it. Come on! Thank you. <laughs> Almost killed myself. What a crazy intense game. I love it. That was fun to play. Um, by side also, yeah, it's open, but again, with a little bit of positioning and uh, safe play, you can make something happen here. Now, we got two killing blows, nine assists, two kill most damage held, 743 damage with six components destroyed. That was the first round, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City. We are playing Skirmish. We go down the Sever Line and hope that the enemies do the same thing so that we have a nice escalating game here. Let's check the other side of the battlefield. It is... Seemingly clear. So we have one Akichida there who is sniping with large razors. This is cool. This actually sets the enemy under such an immense pressure. I mean, that's not immense because he is only shooting probably two ear large lasers. But still, it is. Uh, it just it destroys the team cohesion and it you know makes them uncomfortable that we have a sniper all the way out there in the outskirts. That's really valuable. And I'm not even kidding. Again, it's just. It's just a Archie Cheetah, doing Archie Cheetah things. So, uh, where do we want to set up? I Probably in Echo 7, because Echo 7 is a nice spot. You have a lot of cover here in this area. And um, you can follow up on whatever the enemies is, are doing through the whole city. Okay, also we have low mounts. I should have jumped there. But it was just, you know, an enforcer there. With, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. 
Okay. With very brief amount of uh, exposure time there. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Before I said, uh oh. Okay, so. There we go. Pew. Alright, we got that. Shoot the enforcer. Okay. I think one of my PPCs hit the ground, but it's gonna be fine. Anyhow. Um, I think in this scenario here, I want to stay a little bit behind. Since I am uh, an XL crab and I... I see a lot of enemies there, and that seems to be a firing line that's just waiting for me to pop up. And, you know, they try to get some damage on my mech. Ah, damn it, a little bit too high. Yeah, this is it. With the jumping Pop-Tart uh, playstyle, you only have a very, very brief moment to actually get something done. Uh-oh. Ah, my artillery was on cooldown again. This is the problem of the... Of the shared cooldown, of the global cooldown. Whenever you want to do something, somebody else has taken it already. <laughs> it would have been a perfect moment to drop it totally, but it came down in the right spot there. So one of my teammates did this, the thing that I actually wanted to do. I don't mind. I think my artillery did not hit. Uh, not, my PPCs did not hit. I went through the armpits or so. Okay, let's see if we can do it again. Here's a guy. Ah, no, no pushy in front of me. Damn it. Okay. Let's push forward to the left side. It's the battle master again. Okay, stay in motion, stay... Oh, oh, no. This, this side is too hot for me. Way too hot. So we, we shift again to the right side. I want to be super active, actually. Uh, and being super active means not running into buildings. Okay, that was uh, scary for a second. Ah, uh, Mama King Crab is there. Our Annihilator is here. Oh, that's good. I like to see that. Are they pushing this? Dropping artillery there, just to mess with their movement a bit. So that we have a, an easier game on the right side. Yep. So we go for the crab here. It's a large laser crab, which is getting wrecked by us. Okay, yeah. That's a kill. Ooh. This guy is just standing there. We take the kill, or we take the shot then. Ah, I could kill him. Not quite. How about almost? He is super, super red in the in the back there. All right, so let's take some time to cool down. And honestly, this map is perfect for my playstyle. Use the battle master from before. Let's try to get some more damage on him. Okay, that's enough. You gotta use use the time that we have in between to again cool down, reposition a lot, and uh, get into another angle for more shots. Right, this is a dead mech. It's Aiden. Oh, what? Okay, team. Okay. Can you please slow down a bit? Wow. The Enforcer is here. Probably running XL. Yeah. Probably running XL. So two more enemies. And I wonder where they are. Probably in the Fox 7 area. This is where I last seen some of them. Wow. AFK in Charlie 6. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. And then there is a uh, spider. Spider? Spider. Okay, cool. Medium pulse laser machine guns. Ah, the 5k. I really like playing the 5k with uh, Snubnose PPC and machine guns. That's a lot of fun. Uh, you have a crazy energy cooldown on this one. And uh, can can easily, easily jump around and shoot PPCs. Uh, it's just sustainable, actually. So, medium pulse laser, he's probably running a light engine if he's dropping that weight down to, to that. But okay. Let's go for the legs, actually. Mm-hmm. That's it. The spider in, in, in motion is really tough to hit in the legs. Mm-hmm. Let's go for the cool shot here. Zap. Oh. <clears throat> the side torso will do. Okay, so it was so unfortunate that you had a disconnect on the battlefield. I'm actually a little bit sorry for the enemy team, especially since we stomped them 12-0. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it's how it goes down. Now, we got one killing blow, 10 assists, two kill most damage dealt, 519 damage, with three components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today, everybody. That was the crab with double snub nose PPCs and three medium lasers with an XL engine. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.